Our trip included 14 tourists, mostly Italians, and one Albanian guide. We stayed at guest houses. There's a guest house there. Generally a different guest house every night. The format of our walks is there's a lunch table, so we would make our own lunches. Note the tomatoes, the cucumber, the preserved meat. We, our breakfasts were local too, but they they were pretty interesting. They they had local milk, local yogurt, local butter, local cheese, local bread, local jam. Very delicious. Uh, so the breakfasts were fantastic. There were egg dishes there as well. We would make our own lunch, and then we would set up off on our walk. Generally through steep beach forest. There are conifer forests there. The The beach forest would suddenly end and we'd find ourselves in alpine pasture full of flowers. The best flowers are springtime apparently but we were there in summer and there were flowers everywhere. We would, we would have lunch on a saddle and that's looking down from a lunch saddle we never climbed any peaks. The peaks, many peaks are accessible to walkers. You don't need special mountaineering gear. The highest we ever got on our saddles, or the well, there was a hill just up from one of the saddles at 1900 metres. Thankfully, it was cooler than, than the the temperatures down in the villages because in the middle of summer that's pretty hot there are some sheep now that track in that photo that marks the border between Montenegro and Albania my phone announced welcome to Montenegro that caught me a bit by surprise blue eyes the water, the pools, the streams, it's clear, they're clear, a beautiful blue colour. Apparently they're called blue eyes because that's where the Mother Earth looks out on the surface world to see what's going on. There are, there are waterfalls, there are highly eroded rocks, occasionally there are fossils. Now that's a uh, shepherd's hut. The shepherds were all old men. Their huts are dismantled at the end of each season and reassembled the following summer. These old men seem very happy and content. That's one of our guest houses and that's breakfast in the morning. That's a stream we followed. Fantastic waterfalls. There are some mountain shots coming up. Uh, that's a bridge. And in those mountain shots, you can see patches of white high up on the, the mountains and patches of light gray. Now, the white patches, the small white high up patches are what's left of last year's winter snowfall. The gray are basically boulder fields, rubble fields. We only had one day of rain and then it wasn't hard rain. It, it came as a relief rather than as a problem. There's a mountain pony. You can pay to have your heavy gear moved. Now we didn't have to do that. We had light packs because our gear was moved by the company from place to place. Those mountain dogs there, those mountain dogs don't belong to anyone. They just tag along with the hikers, presumably because they like people and they like hiking. I was a bit worried they were lost, but apparently not. That's one of our, our guest houses. That's a shelter that one of the shepherds has built. 
to attract tourists and he then sells some things like water, fizzy drinks which he moves up by pony. There you can see the grey and the white. You'll see another shot coming up too. So thanks for watching and there's more information on my YouTube channel and more information on onlyoneplanet.com. Thanks for watching.